need for this tutorial is a weight four yarn or whatever weight yarn you want to use this is the yarn i'm using it's from hobby lobby and you'll need a five millimeter hook it's personal preference you can use any size hook that you want but just take into consideration your project might come out bigger or smaller but a size five hook is the perfect sizing that i found and you'll also just need some scissors so let's get started okay so for starters we're gonna create a magic ring so to do that just do this and so we're gonna take our hook and place it under the yarn pull through I put a tutorial for a magic green if y'all didn't understand it. Everybody does their magic greens differently. So now you want to go ahead and chain two to three. And that does not count as your, it does not count as a double crochet. Yarn over and you're going to place 12 double crochets into the, the magic green. One. And then you're just going to pull a string of yarn to close your circle. And then you're going to go ahead and place a single, I mean a slip knot. You're going to slip stitch right here, not a slip knot. Slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and chain two. One, two. And you're going to be placing two double crochets into each stitch and that will result in 24 stitches because you have 12 so you're gonna be this is gonna be your first increase row so two double crochets into each stitch and that chain two it does not count as a chain i mean it does not count as a double crochet so double crochets in each stitch all the way around And as y'all can see, this little stitch right here, that is not a stitch. Do not put any stitches right here. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the first chain stitch. So we're going to slip stitch into that stitch. Hope y'all can see. I'm going to go ahead and chain two. And for this increase row, we're going to increase in every second stitch so one double crochet and in every second stitch you'll place two double crochets in that same stitch so one two I'm 
just gonna meet y'all when I get to the end. So I finally made it to my last two stitches. Your last stitch will be an increased stitch. So one double crochet, and then you'll place two double crochets in that last one. For every increased row, you should end with an increased stitch. So we're gonna repeat that by slip stitching into that first chain space, slip stitch, chain two. And we are now on our third increase row. So for this row, you're going to increase in every third stitch. So one double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into the second stitch. And two double crochets, which is our increase stitch, into the third one. That makes sense. So one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets every third stitch. Hope y'all can see. And then increase. See? And you're just gonna go ahead and repeat that until you make it all the way down here. So I'm now to my last three stitches, so we're going to repeat what we've been doing. So one double crochet, one double crochet, and then place our increase stitch into the last one. Like that. Finish up by slip stitching into our first stitch, and then chain two. Now we're going to go ahead and do our last increase row, which will be increasing in every fourth stitch. So one double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet into the second stitch, one double crochet into the third stitch, and then you'll place two double crochets into the fourth stitch. So every fourth stitch you will increase. And a little way to know when to increase is you should be increasing whenever it's a two double crochets in one your previous row if that makes sense so one double crochet to the first one another one another one and then you'll be increasing on that last one on that fourth stitch so keep increasing on every fourth stitch and so you get all the way back here. We're at our last four stitches. So you're gonna go ahead and finish doing what you've been doing. And your last stitch should be an increased stitch. Now, we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch like we've been doing. And that is it for our increase rows. It should look like this. And now we're going to go ahead and start doing our regular rows. There are no more increases throughout the whole pattern. So after you're done with that last increase row, you'll be done with increasing. So chain two. And you're just going to place one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. For my hats, I like to do about 22 rows. But you could do however many rows you want to do. It's up to you. The longer you want your hat, the more rows you would do. I found that 22 rows is a decent amount of rows. But the more you do, the longer your hat would be. So it's basically just a long beanie. So one double crochet in each stitch. We already have five rows. So we're going to do 17 rows of just one double crochet in each stitch. And then we'll be done. So I'm going to do my one row with y'all. And
and it should kind of start to curve over so Our last few stitches, and I'll repeat what you're doing, what you've been doing. When you make it to the end, you slip stitch into that first stitch like you've been doing, chain two, and you'll basically repeat the one double crochet for 17 rows. So that's literally it. So once I have my 17 rows done, I'm gonna come back and we'll finish up. So keep doing what you've been doing. All right, so I made it to the last few stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and finish these stitches up. And then we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch. And then I like to chain one and then take the scissors and cut, pull through. And now you are done. You would just leave the, your two ends in and you're done so this is what it should look like when you have your 22 rows like i said you could do more my tension was a little loose so compared to this is what it really should look like but this is just like a reminder to keep a steady tension my tension was way looser than it was when i made this one so this is what it should look like but the pattern is still the same so it's all based on your tension so so this is what your hat should look like like i said this one came out a little bigger a steady tension your hat should look like this so don't do don't do don't be like me keep a steady tension so i hope y'all like this tutorial make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and if y'all make this pattern or make something with this pattern make sure y'all comment or send me your pictures, tag me, do something, girl, because I want to see what you made. So, bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.